Look, I just want to say today that um, we very much look forward to the adoption of the resolution today. It's uh, about uh, lifting the sanctions against Eritrea. We believe that, uh, that this is the result of a historic and significant development in the Horn of Africa that we have witnessed during the last uh, years, which have dramatically changed the dynamics in the region and open a new chapter of peace and cooperation there. And, you know, we've spoken about this before. I think it's very important that the Council also acknowledges when there are positive change. In this case, really uh, coming out of courageous decisions by the leaders, uh, not least in Ethiopia and, and Eritrea. And they will have, we already see that, have positive uh, repercussions for the entire Horn of Africa. Um, the sanctions on Somalia continues to play an important role um, in supporting the effort to defeat al-Shabaab um, and to um, uh, averting the flow of illicit arms um, and at the same time allowing the important build-up of the Somali national uh, forces. Uh, so that makes perfect sense. I want to say also on Gaza that um, you know, we, we, we met yesterday um, the flare-up has temporarily been sorted out, um, but this is a, 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 a symbol of an unresolved situation that is not tenable in the, in the long run. And uh, what we've asked yesterday is that the Council has to take a much more proactive role in dealing with the underlying uh, situation in, uh, in the Middle East uh, regarding Israel and, and, the, and, uh, and the Palestinians. Now, how we do that is we'll, we'll discuss. I had a few ideas yesterday, and we want to pursue that discussion. Ambassador, you say a more proactive role. Does that mean the Council is now, or Sweden anyway, is fed up waiting for Jared Kushner? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I think we are underpl underplaying our own role as the Security Council on some issues in the world. This is one of them. Um, I think the Security Council, a lot of people still look up to the Council to take you know, preventive action. Uh, I don't think we've been managing to, we have not been able to do that uh, in this particular situation. I think that needs to change. That's Thanks. Right. So. Yemen, do you think, you, have you seen a draft yet? And uh, do you think something might be in the works before Friday when Martin Griffiths reports to the Council? Uh, well, let's, let's see. I think the most important thing now is, again, to, to, to uh, focus on the humanitarian situation and to do everything we can to support a political uh, solution. And as you know, Sweden stands ready to offer such uh, you know, uh, premises uh, as we have been requested by the United Nations. So hopefully that will, that will uh, materialize soon. Um, I, I don't know exactly where that stands, but I think whatever comes out needs to be supportive of both, you know, stopping the, well, you know, we've, we've been asking for a cessation of hostilities for some time. I'm very glad to see that others are, are echoing that. That seems to be the general view of the Security Council now. Uh, so that needs to be put forward there. We need to focus on the humanitarian situation, but most importantly, again, is to come back to a political solution. What's your target date for the talks in Sweden? There's no target date. I mean, that's up to the, uh, to the UN. And one last one on Kunming, which you're also discussing right. today. Ambassador Haley has made it known she'd like that mission wound up. What, yeah. are, you, what are your views of the condition, conditions on the ground? Is this time to end UNMIC? I think uh, UNMIC probably sp p still plays a role, but we're in favor of having a review of it. But the most important thing in, in, in Kosovo and for Kosovo and Serbia is the EU integration process, and that needs to continue. If the UN mission can be supportive of that, then you know it should be, wound, uh, should be seen in that light, but then it should be wound, wound up. I agree with that. Thank you. Thank you.